How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another gameplay commentary. Today we're going to be talking about whether or not... What's going on everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another gameplay commentary. Today we're going to be talking about what if there is no Halo in 2018. No Halo 6. Will the, com will the community survive another year? Oh my god. Well, potentially, yes and potentially, no. I'm sure some people will stay, some people will go. But that's kind of like how every shooter goes when it comes to population. Oh my god, I just get wrecked. Got that rocket launcher from there, but eh? Well, how bad would it look? Mm, it won't look too great. I mean, obviously, we're kind of a little bit hungry right now for content right now for Halo players. Now, does that necessarily mean we need a brand new game to kind of bring people back together, back to the game? Not necessarily. I think if you had some crucial updates to the game that really kind of bring back, revitalize the franchise, this game, actually really specifically, I could see the population coming back. I mean, we've seen that happen with like Rainbow Six Siege, um, Destiny 1 back in the day as well. Oh my god, get wrecked! I think pretty much at this point, people who have had a chance to play Halo 5 have had the chance to play Halo 5, so you would need some serious fundamental changes to the game for it to be kind of a universally accepted game. Much like how, like, say, like Halo 3 was, Halo, the original trilogy of Halos were, and stuff like that. Now, what if there is no Halo this year? Well, I can guarantee you guys, for this channel, I will still be uploading weekly Halo videos. Guarantee that, without a doubt, I'll still be playing this game because, well, I genuinely like playing Halo 5. Not a lot of people don't, but personally, I really do enjoy this game. Surprisingly, I guess. I, for some reason, that's a surprise to a lot of people. Oh my gosh, yes, I'm drop its pain, damn! So I can guarantee you, Halo 5 will continue to be on this channel no matter what. Oh, let's shoot that up there. Get him, yeah! Now, how will it affect the community? Well, I think a lot of people will be rather upset with the fact that there is no Halo coming out this year. I think, for some people, I'm sure that would probably cross the line, but like, 343 doesn't know what they're doing. But really, I would prefer 343 to take their time with the game. Oh, dang. And make sure they release a really good product. Uh, for this time around, 343 really needs to show that uh, that Halo has a lot to offer the players and not do this trickled in uh, style of content. Aw. Instead, what they should do is get come out with the full bang because everyone knows that the initial population of game is always the highest at initial release of the game. For 99% of games, obviously games like I mentioned earlier, like Super Rainbow Six Siege, even the Division is seeing a population surge. Look at this guy, like, I can't get you. I can get you. I can't get you. No, <laughs> what a fail. Though I would say the long-term Halo fans, like me, we're gonna be here no matter what. Like, no matter what, if it's a Halo game, we're going to play it. We're going to buy it. As long as it's not like egregiously terrible like what EA did with uh, Star Wars Battlefront. That was a tragic turn of events right there for sure just because of... Well, honestly, Star Wars Battlefront was actually a really good game. It's just that it was marred by microtransactions that I just could not stand for. Downtown double kill! Ho <laughs> ho! Oh boy! That was awesome. Triple kill! Let me know in the comment section down below, guys. Will you still be playing Halo or be looking forward to the next Halo if it does not come out this year. Are you gonna call it quits with the franchise and just be like, you know what, I've had en enough is enough. Like I said, I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well, so you know, leave it in, you leave your thoughts down below. You know, I care what you guys have to say. Get a little discussion going. Or do you think 343 kind of treats, say, like Halo Wars 2 as a full Halo game? And so every two years, we're actually gonna get an actual Halo game. So that's why it would make sense in 2019 for there to be a new Halo 6. And you know, 343 does seem to be rather proud of their Halo Wars 2, which, to be fair, that makes sense because, you know, they, I don't know if they necessarily were part, really part of creating the game itself. I think they more kind of managed the whole thing. You know, because Creative Assembly really made that game. Though, so you can kind of tell that they're, they're very proud of the game and they want to advertise as much as possible and give it a fair chance to do well. This velocity in this thing is insane. I never really had a chance to use it because I don't really play with uh, rack weapons a whole lot. But it's like a laser beam, man. This thing is insane. Like, watch this. Boom! Oh, I almost killed myself there. That would have been so noob. Double kill. There we go. 
I sorry, I got real lucky in the start here, guys. Another one. Sorry, out strong. So having a game release, an actual like full release, triple A Halo game be released every two years would make sense for their marketing scheme. But obviously, my preference, I would love to see an actual Halo shooter be released every two years. But yeah, you know, if it takes a little more time, a little more time in the oven, a little more cooking time in the oven to make sure it's like a really good game, then let it cook. You know, I'd rather see the game be released at its full potential rather than some half baked kind of attempt to. Just please people for the amount of time it's been since the last Halo game, sh last Halo shooter. No, you're not gonna get that one, buddy. <laughs> yeah, guys, like I said, Halo is gonna be sticking with this channel. There's not gonna be a, a downtime where there won't be a Halo video for a long period of time or anything like that. Trust me, it's here to stay. Because I absolutely love this franchise and I want to keep uploading it because I like the game that much. Oh, get out played there, buddy. Now I'm hoping for a new Halo for this year. If not, then it's not the end of the world for me. I'll still be posting games, play live streaming the game and stuff like that. You know, and I'll be keeping you guys updated with any news and information about it as well. Any news, I mean like I think 343 really is kind of using this game as kind of like a beta right now because the for the changes that they've done with the battle rifle, uh, the changes that they're going to be doing to the skill system and stuff like that. So I'm looking forward to the next Halo. I think you know 343 has definitely heard our voices about Halo 5, and uh, I think that you know the next Halo. I think it's going to be a step in the right direction. I think people are really going to enjoy it. Maybe that's me just being too optimistic, but we'll see what happens now. So, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. If you want to see more videos like this, where I'm just kind of live stream, you know, not stream, but recording, just kind of speaking my thoughts, make sure to tap that like button. Let me you know you want to see more content like this. You know, leave a comment down below if you guys think about if there, if there is no Halo for 2018. Is that going to be just like the worst thing ever for you? Or, you know, are you going to be kind of like, you know what, I'll wait, I'll pay, I'm patient, I'll enjoy it when it comes out. And also, if you guys are new to this channel and want to see more content, from me, you can always tap the subscribe button because I'm always uploading awesome Halo videos on this channel. Damn, that guy was invisible. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.